Hello and welcome people to a little tutorial I always wanted to do on the interlacing. If you don't know what the interlacing is, I'm, uh, past me is going to show you right now. You see those vertical lines? They're disgusting. We want to get rid of them. Those only appear if you're recording something off of a uh, standard definition source. In real human's language, uh, it would be something like a PS2 or a VHS. Now. They don't appear always, but uh, they appear mostly in uh, areas with a lot of movement, as you can see here. Now, uh, there are multiple ways of getting rid, uh, rid of them that aren't actually listed as the interlacing, and I want to show those. Well, first and foremost, we need to change our proper, uh, properties to uh, progressive scan and uh, 30 frames a second and the interlacing methods to none to show my point. As you can see, the, the, uh, the interlaces have disappeared. However, we also have a lot of ghosting. This is due to uh, the um, uh, re, uh, resample. Uh, by, uh, by default, uh, the resampling is set to smart resampling. This will not take any effect unless you have recorded the video in a frame rate higher than 30. So, yeah, that's one method. Record it in a frame rate of 60 or 120 as I did, and then your the interlaces will disappear when you uh, choose the um, resampling. However, it's not very good as you can see there is a lot of ghosting. So, we will go through the uh, basic methods. Now, blend fields will give you a similar result. However, I would say it's worse as. Uh, it dilapidates the color quality and makes everything look a little bit uh, fuzzy. As well as, uh, well, looks fuzzy and I don't like it. So we're gonna check the other deinterlacing method, which is interpolate fields. Now this method at first glance looks awesome, however... If you look closely, especially on the pre-rendered elements of the environment, uh, you'll see that uh, it's. Um, uh, you'll see that it essentially uh, lowers the resolution. You can see that especially on the uh, on the lines that don't uh, that go a little uh, slightly uh, crooked. So we want to get rid of it because it's it's it ain't very nice. Yeah, you you, you I'm past me is showing you wh where to look at. Stupid moron. Uh, in any case. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you, uh, there is another method that's, uh, I would say, best of them all, that's that, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will put a link in the description. It's, uh, it's a free plugin you can uh, use in uh, Sony Vegas 10, uh, 10 and 12. You just, uh, you just use it with uh, media or uh, video F uh, FX and uh, it will essentially keep the resolution as it's supposed to be and not cause any sort of ghosting, which is optimal. There is a one uh, downside to it, however. Uh, it will sometimes create um, artifacts. You will still see... Uh, You'll still see the uh, in lines at uh, sometimes, but it's only for one frame usually, and you won't uh, you won't be able to see that. There are also other ways that you can use with basically any uh, video editing program, which is to blur every uh, blur everything out slightly. I said slightly. Past me, get it right. In any case, you literally set, uh, set your uh, blurring settings to uh, around uh, 2% and uh, it will uh, give you basically the same effect as uh, blend fields. The uh, frame rate is still gonna be kind of ghosty, but if you don't have uh, the actual, uh, actual blend fields, this is a, a neat al alternative. Um, there are, uh, you can also use uh, something called pixelate, but it doesn't work very well. 
Now, um, there is also another method that you can use even without a video editing uh, program, uh, which is to uh, lower uh, the resolution to uh, 240p. I said 240p. I said 240p. Not 360. God damn it. No 480. It's it's what we are at it. God damn it! I hate myself sometimes. There we go. It's basically the same as Blend Field. So uh, if you don't have a video editing program, uh, just some some sort of converter, you can still do this. Yeah, as you see, the image is quite fuzzy and there is a lot of ghosting. Uh, that whole uh, that whole plugin thingamajiggy that's optional. Uh, it's also available for virtual uh, virtual dub, which is a free program that I highly recommend if you want to deinterlace something. But that's maybe for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.